Hey, it's Joel, but I have a special guest with me. That's me. I'm Sean. Otherwise known as my editor. Your video editor. Sean's in Seattle for a hot second, and after we got done with some pizza and some rum, we thought, what would be <laughs> something good to just print overnight that we could then assemble, possibly make a video on? Sean is one of the biggest Power Ranger fans on Earth. That's pretty accurate, actually. And Sean is also a patron of Yuri, known as 3D Workbench. Yes, absolutely. He uh, makes some fantastic models, lots of weapons. But he's also got like a Voltron, he's working on- Fantasy music. weapons. Yeah, fantasy weapons. Fantasy weapons. And one of the shows in particular was Power Rangers. Yeah! Sean dressed up as a very dapper Red Ranger for Halloween this year. Mm -hmm. And knowing that Yuri produced a model of the Power Rangers blaster, we knew we had to print it. So let's do it and put it together right here on 3D Printing Nerd. Ah, welcome back. We've got some parts on the table that we need to talk about. First though, I wanna talk about these over here. Sean, what did we print these on? We printed these on the Prusa i3 Mark III. Uh, do you remember the settings that we used on these? Edge standard Prusa PLA, PLA. settings, 15% okay. infill. I think it's five top, four bottom, two or three perimeters. Yeah. We had mini donuts from Seattle's Pike Place Market today. They that's were delicious. delicious. That's a good stat. Yeah. This was white. printed in Strong Hero 3D white PLA, and there's a link in the description in case you'd like to find yourself with some Strong Hero filament. I think it did a great job. I think the Prusa settings proved to be appropriate for this sort of thing, right? The detail is sharp. Yeah, everything is, I mean, these, the, the top layers are fantastic as well. It's nice and smooth, and these, these came out Whatever, are these claws? No, so these are the teeth of the Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> Freed me! Freed me! There you go. That's now we've crossed there we go. references. This is good. So we loaded up the build plates of the two Prusa i3 Mark III 3D printers that I have. We also had some small little parts, right? Yeah, some small little parts. These are gonna form eventually the barrel of the gun, the blaster. We got some dowels here to actually guide things in as well. 3D printed dowels. Yeah. That's great. We did leave the supports on because I know we're gonna have to take them off. Or wait, did we? Did we, we leave the supports on? We left supports on some of them That's here. Some of them. Yeah, okay. so we got, but we, there was a lot of support needed for this guy right here, uh, which we've already taken off. Yeah, we did. Well, here's, here's a good example. So there's support here, sub not support here. And you can see that although there is a lot of support on the model, it was able to come off pretty easily. In fact, I'm gonna do it right now. Oh. It's just ripping it right off. No tools required. Bye. There we go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. A little yeah. bit of cleanup. So Sean, yeah. I know that we use the Prusa for these parts. We also have a rail core here at the house. The yeah. rail core two. 300Z, ZL? Yeah, these pieces came off the rail core and they're less than stellar. Womp, and womp. I'm afraid to mention anything because I'm still in the process of reviewing the machine, but I am 100% behind the idea that the less than stellar prints are because of the profile I'm building in Simplify 3D. Yeah, because we've seen this thing print some amazing pieces. Right? Amazing pieces at incredible detail, right. at incredible speeds. It's insane. So I, for the most part, these look good. Yeah, until we get to the very top, they're actually pretty, pretty good. There was uh, some sort of weird bottom layer thing where the bottom layers got stringy and the top parts of these little decorations didn't adhere and they yeah. just popped right off. Yeah. We tried reprinting and it's better. better. Yeah. It's better, but right here you can see that it's still not perfect. And so uh, I, oh, I do want to show that supports do come just off pop really right easy. Off. Look yeah. at it's just, oh, it's like I'm a dream. I'm always afraid when I do this, I'm just gonna like just rip my knuckle on this. Well, yeah, you should be using tools. Yeah. So these are good, but we wanted to perfect it. And so while we were away for the day doing some cool stuff, we actually sent these pieces to the Prusas that were no longer busy with the other pieces. One per build plate, they finished. Sean, you wanna go get them? Oh. Woo. And here they oh, are. They look great. That yeah. actually came out great. Again, a strong hero. 3D, same settings as the other stuff, Strong Hero 3D. The other thing we have to mention uh, is that we use so like kind of a no-name PLA on the Core XY. You wanna crack them at the same time? Yeah. Let's, ready, ready? Let's, yeah, One, yeah. two, three. Oh yeah, I love that sound. That's pretty fun. Oh, and a lot of supports right on the end here, but they should just crack right off. Yeah, just popped right off, perfect. So one of the interesting things about the Prusa 
slicer is it identifies a space like this. And rather than filling this with supports like Simplify 3D does, it identifies that it puts supports where the edges are and then it treats the rest as just bridging and it actually produces really good results. Much better. Wow. I mean, here, I mean, just as a comparison, I'm grabbing the worst one, of course. Of course. You know, right. <laughs> there you are. Your dream of becoming the Red Ranger is almost complete. It's getting closer. So I actually have a 3D printed sword uh, that was a gift to me by Chris Kaminsky. Really? Yes. He oh. gave it to me at Murph last year. Shout thank out to you. Chris. Thank you so much. So are we going to finish this before you head home? Well, finish meaning glue. Glued. Glued, yeah. Something. Yeah. I, I'm going to have to paint the crap out of it. Yeah. <laughs> It's true. Well, what's in the pro so how is this going to go together? I guess that's that's the million dollar question, right? Cuz I'm not familiar with the Power Rangers <laughs> blaster. Right. So, uh, it doesn't uh, it won't bend and fold like it does on the show. Oh, it does. Yeah, it does. So, it, like it like folds up cuz they can actually extend a blade out of it and okay. different things like that. So, All right. Before we do that, we still have some support supports. ends that we should probably uh, get out yeah. of there. Uh, like does it actually say Power Rangers on it? It does. So, I mean, I'm sure most people know that Power Rangers is based off of a show from Japan. Okay, right? yeah. A lot of footage that comes from there. And it says ZU Ranger here on the actual footage from Japan. Uh, but yeah, Power Rangers. Uh, these will go I'm around. Sure. Other way. Nope, that way. Yeah, you're right. I'm pretty sure. You've, you've got it. I mean, I don't know Power Rangers, but. You know how things go together. Technically, yes. I, I think that's one of my strong points. Other way. No. Now I'm just doing it on purpose. <laughs> okay. You go like that. Okay. And then these will come. Oh, right in the back. Right in the back. Right like oh, that. Just like that. And then the barrel will go obviously right here. Okay. So there's no registration marks. We're gonna have to eyeball yeah, this pretty well, yeah, right? Yeah, and we're gonna be using 3D glue. We can use some 3D glue. Yeah. I think that might be a good choice. What is the curing time on that? Really quick. <laughs> okay. My idea is to use uh, a known surface. So something like this, and if we put it in, and then we know that it's resting against something that's flat. flat. In fact, yeah. we could- The diffusion the, from the lights that we've taken Diffusions taken from the lights. So if we have a known flat surface, we can put it there, and then we can just kind of eyeball that one, and then, just and then hold it together for 10 seconds or so, and then yay, it's good. Are we just gonna go for it? I think we should just go for okay. it. Just get into it. Do you wanna do it or do you want me to do it? I'll, I'll let you do the first one. Okay. Do you apply to both sides? I usually don't. Okay. Oh yeah, you got it that pretty good. Yeah. One banana, two banana. Is that where we're going? Sure, bananas. One banana, two banana, three banana, four, five banana, six banana, seven, seven banana, banana, more. more. Oh, Eight okay. banana, nine banana, 10 banana. No, we're, no, we're done. I, is that it? 10 bananas. Ten, okay. Doesn't seem to be moving. It's not migrating. What do you think? Yeah, well, this is, this is incredible. I can't believe how like, how accurate that was just by eyeballing it. You, I know. Uh, yeah. I have yeah. good eyeballs. So apply some. Some gloop. Yeah, gloop it up. Should we spread it? Spread it around. That's probably good. And then put them together. My guess is somewhere between five and 10 bananas. Uh, maybe we should do like one like wrapping pumpkin. There was a wrapping pumpkin on the show. Do you rage and make me mad? Wake me up with a wrap that bad. Was that? popular or a pudgy pig. Yeah, those are the monsters. Really? Yes. What was the name of the pumpkin, John? You call yourself a fan. If you know the name might, of the wrapping might. pumpkin, yeah. leave it in the comments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little squeeze out? Yeah. But that's yeah. fine. But that's fine. I think that turned out very well as well. So what's great is we can use these to help line up those pieces. Yeah, absolutely. We're not gonna glue this in, but we're gonna have it right in there as we glue this. As we glue it. Okay. So put some glue kind of in the center area and maybe a smidge right there. Ready? Yes. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna put that. There, and you go ahead and line it up. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Sean. Oh. Just very much in the way of the shot. That's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I know. I know an editor who'll probably put up some sort of really cool B-roll of Red Ranger of Red Ranger doing something awesome. Something amazing. Yeah. Probably doing a pose with explosions. How are you feeling about this? It's a little off, I think. Will the other parts fit in? Let's find out. So that fits in. Yep. That's got a little bit of a bow in it. It does. So we'll have to hold that pretty hard. Pretty good. Yep. We have clamps. Clamps at the ready. For this one, away. because it has, does it have an edge we can use? Not, sure. No, yeah. does it? Okay. Yeah, and just then, just like that. It's got two points. Okay. Perfect. As long as there's two points anchoring it. So go ahead and put the glue on, and then I'll have you hold it down while I clamp it. 
Should it pretty even? <laughs> sort of even? Mostly even. Nothing a little sanding won't fix. I was just gonna say, you're the one that gets to fix it. Yep. 15 pudgy pigs. Well, while it's clamped, we have this piece. So okay. We can start inserting the other pieces. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, loop it up. That's the wrong way. I'm kidding. <laughs> you got me. You got me good. That felt good. Yeah. That felt good. Yeah. Dripping. I'm glad that's on the diffusion. Yeah. There we go. It's probably in there pretty good. Yeah, I think so. Just holding it for extra pudgy pigs. You wanna around here? I'm gonna put it right here. Good call. On this. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Perfect. There we go. So now we can do. So I can take a tiny little bit of glue and just kind of go right like that. Right at the joint. Right at the joint. And when it cures, you can sand that. Sand that. Right. So uh, when I use the the adhesion, I put it on there to adhere it, and then I'll go along the edges. Is that in? Yeah. Machine's not coming out. Wow. Let me see it. So I'm yeah. the Red Ranger. Be away from you, giggly mouse. Or what is it? Wrapping pumpkin. That's not any better. Oh, Goldar. That's yep. Squat. Not Babu. any better. Well, we still got the last bits to go, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just glued. Yep. Glued it up. I'll add some glue to that. What? Oh, onto this. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Your fingers. Got me. Do I have to wash my hands now? I'm sorry, you're dead. <laughs> And just right in there. If I had gloves, we'd be wearing gloves. So now we've got this part and this. So I'll parts. start I'll start adding this in. This actually is a pretty snug fit right there. So probably won't require too much. Yeah. I think it's in. She's in. She's in. She's in. Well here wait, do these? I'm wondering. Do they connect? And then will they just sit in there together? So what we can do is sand the mating edges to make sure they're flat. Gotcha. And because it's such a small surface, very, very little, little of the glue is needed. Oh my gosh. Don't mess up. I'm, I'm gonna, oh, okay, I think I got it. Not bad. Well done, Red Ranger. Jason, or Rocky, depending on the season. You're Sean. <laughs> this is the real world. <laughs> got Hashtag it. Sean is the Red Ranger. That's fine. It's good. Good enough. Last one, right? I'm glad you're here. <laughs> I've done this before. One, two, two. Four, banana. seven, banana. Batman no. symbol. Oh God, Alpha Five. Alpha Five. Ay, ay, ay. And that's it. That's it. Yeah. Do 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 Epic soundtrack. Thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know what? Yeah. We just finished. We put together a Power Rangers blaster, and with you being a very large Power Rangers fan, I'm pretty happy about this. How do you think this turned out? I think it turned out really well. Uh, the the detail from the Prusa, I mean, the Power Rangers, you know, if the the lettering here, really great, and then inside, whatever this is supposed to be, <laughs> it's magic. It's where the pixies yeah. live. Yeah, exactly. Uh, really great. The the fine edges are the points for the Tyrannosaurus teeth. Really good. Even and then this I, right here. I know it was like six pieces, but I thought that right. turned out really yeah. good. Yeah, it was, especially with all the support that was around yeah. the, the, the big, the bigger piece here. And then compared to the rail core, this looks amazing. Well, but, it's interesting. So I was able to find a better tuned profile from Steve Almas in the rail core group on Facebook. And I'm reprinting these using his profile. I just switched it in Simplify 3D and I swapped it over just because I think that's gonna prove without a shadow of a doubt, it's my fault, Yeah. <laughs> which is no, which it, it, usually it, is. It 100% is because like I said, we've seen some amazing results yeah. from that printer. Cool, uh, so now you're gonna have to finish that and sand it and paint, paint it, it and I don't know, will the, we, the will we see it soon? Um, don't count on that. Will we see it by Murph? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you'll see it by Murph. So Sean and I will be at Murph and you'll see his finished Power Rangers blaster modeled by 3D Workbench, printed on the Bruces and in Strong Hero 3D filament and then finished by Sean. By me. I am not good with paint. I've never been good with paint. So it'll be interesting to see how well I do with it. We'll have to reach out to uh, Chaos Cortex and see if they can. Ooh, I bet Garrett would. Yeah, Garrett and Chelsea. Chelsea would, they yeah, would, they would sure they'll help level out. that up. They'll be at Murph. Yeah, great. So they can tell me how horrible I did. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming, dude. Thank you for having me here. It's about it's time I got out here. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, he'll, he'll be out again soon, most yeah, certainly. definitely. Any final words? Uh, thanks for uh, thanks for all the, the nice comments that I get in the uh, in your comment section. Is that what you're gonna get? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I really do appreciate it. It uh, it helps me on the long nights.
Yeah, That's you know sure. Sean does read the comments, and yeah. he is a manager of the channel, so anytime you do leave a comment for Sean, he does see it, and do. there's a good chance he will respond to it, which is fantastic. Well, thanks again for watching. If you made it this far, you're awesome. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe so you can see more epic, amazing builds such as... <laughs> I can't say that with a straight face. Beyond all that, don't forget to hug each other more. I love you guys. I love you too, Sean. Love you. As always, high five. High five.